indoor skydiving has gotten insane. Number 10, Maja Kuzinska and Kyra Poe. At the end of November of 2019, the tallest indoor skydiving venue in the world opened in the UAE, known as the Climb Tunnel. It's 32 feet high, which is much more than the up to 17 feet that is more common, and it's aimed to open up a whole new realm of opportunities in the sport. To give a taster of what's possible in this tunnel, the owners invited two indoor skydiving champions and world record holders to put on a special display. Masha Kuzinska and Kyra Poe had been close friends since they were kids, but rarely had the opportunity to go indoor skydiving together. When they saw the size of this facility, they realized that a solo performance would be a waste of space. So they conceived this routine for the opening ceremony. Instead of the months they would normally spend preparing for a performance, they only had three days to choreograph the one-minute flight. It was a worthwhile effort, because as you can see, it turned out as majestic as any other form of dance. Number 9. Longest Indoor Skydive With traditional skydiving, there's a limit to how long you can be in freefall because you're hurtling towards the ground. Even Felix Baumgartner, who jumped for a then world record height of 127,852 feet, was only in freefall for 4 minutes and 19 seconds. But with indoor skydiving facilities, you can go for much longer. The current world record set for the longest indoor freefall skydive was set by two Russians in 2018. Viktor Kozlov and Sergei Dmitriev were at the Freefly Technology Wind Tunnel where they flew uninterrupted for 8 hours, 33 minutes, and 43 seconds. To put this into perspective, it's generally regarded that a one-minute indoor session is the equivalent to one skydive jump from a plane, and the 530 minutes they were in flight for would translate to falling a distance of around 1,280 miles, the same as flying between New York and Cuba. Number 8. The Most Indoor Skydivers at Once most indoor skydiving venues are designed for one or two people to be in them at once. This allows experienced flyers to go on tandem jumps together, or for an instructor to be in there with a novice. But the record for the most indoor skydivers at once might surprise you. It was set in 2013 at the iFly Indoor Skydiving Facility in Singapore. One adult flew in the center and was surrounded by 12 children, smashing their previous record and setting the new one at 13. They remained in the tunnel for five minutes, and it's something no one has managed to challenge since. Number 7. Longest Gaming Session in Freefall How long can you go without playing your favorite video game? Jesse Moorkirk, who used to work for Dutch gaming magazine N-Gamer, takes his with him wherever he goes, and on occasion this has led to some quite unusual things happening. In 2011, he set the record for the longest gaming session ever while in freefall at an indoor skydiving center. And despite only needing to break 15 minutes to be the new champion, he kept going for 18.52 minutes. Of course, the important question to ask is what game was he playing during the time? The answer is Super Mario Galaxy 2 that he was playing on a Nintendo Wii that had been specifically set up for the record attempt. It seems quite fitting that it was done with a game like that. But the most surprising thing about this record is that despite being set in 2011, it still hasn't been broken yet, even though a lot of people have tried. Number 6. Most Head Spins in a Minute There are countless different moves and positions you can adopt while indoor skydiving, but one of the most nausea-inducing is a head spin. Officially defined as rotating upside down with the head, neck, and back straight and as close to a 90 degree angle against the ground as possible, most people feel proud just to achieve one, let alone breaking the world record. In 2015 at the iFly in Singapore, Jonathan Lo Hui Jie from Singapore did just that and managed to perform an incredible 50 perfect head spins in 60 seconds. This isn't something just anyone could do, though, as Jonathan is an expert flying instructor at the facility. There are some who looked at his attempt and felt they could break it. However, and unfortunately for Jonathan, his record only stood for just over a year. In 2016, Kremet Yadla from Estonia was at iFly Down Under in Sydney, Australia, and managed to perform 54 head spins in 60 seconds. It just makes you wonder quite how far this challenge still has to go. Number 5 the oldest indoor skydiver. 
Skydiving and even indoor skydiving is often seen as an activity for younger generations, but there's no reason that older people can't take part in the fun too. In 2018, a great-grandmother called Ava Lewis from Hertfordshire in England became one of the oldest people to ever go indoor skydiving. When she was taken to the iFly Indoor Skydiving Facility at Milton Keynes for her 102nd birthday, she was accompanied and cheered on by her 75-year-old son, her 44-year-old granddaughter, and her 9-year-old great-grandson, and seemed to enjoy every moment of the experience. After it was over, she said that she was so glad she had the chance to feel what it was like to float on air, and that she'd love to do it again for her next birthday. As she left the venue, she was seen kicking her leg in the air in excitement. But before you wonder if this was dangerous for someone of her age, she certainly has form in extreme sports. The year before, for her 101st birthday, she had gone on an acrobatic plane flight in a Spitfire. Before we move on, be sure to subscribe to Top 5s with notifications on. Number 4. Indoor Wingsuits When you think of an indoor skydiving tunnel, you tend to imagine a vertical tube with fans beneath the ground. But there's now a new trend of building them at an angle. While this isn't useful for simulating a skydive, it opens up a new realm of possibility for people with wingsuits. The first facility like this was opened in Stockholm, Sweden in 2017, and there was a serious need for a place like this. Unlike skydiving, wingsuiting is extremely risky and is, by all accounts, the most dangerous sport in the world. Even experienced flyers have made mistakes with fatal consequences, so a venue that offered people the chance to practice and perfect their skills before doing it for real is a major help. It also makes the sport accessible to those who have no intention of ever jumping from a plane while only wearing a wingsuit, and gives you more of a sense of flying than skydiving ever could. Number 3. Most Magic Tricks in 3 Minutes Of all the amazing and complicated things you could think of doing in an indoor skydiving tunnel, card magic probably isn't the top of the list. But that was just one of the tricks performed by Martin Rees while he set the record for the most magic tricks to be performed while indoor skydiving in three minutes. He was equipped with his deck of cards, a handkerchief, and even a biscuit, and in total managed to complete eight tricks before the time was up. Unusually for a record-breaking attempt, he was not only overseen by representatives from Guinness World Records, but also by experts from the magic circle who ensured that his tricks actually worked as they were meant to. This wasn't just an attempt to show how great he is at magic, though, as the event was also raising funds for charitable causes. On this occasion, he raised more than $1,000, and just a few weeks later, he took what he had learned and repeated it again, but this time on an actual skydive. Number 2. Youngest Indoor Skydiving Champion Indoor skydiving doesn't have an age limit to it so as long as the person going into the tunnel is able to understand the safety briefings. But the record for the youngest medalist in an indoor skydiving championship is insane. Zhao Yiming won a bronze medal at the China Open 2018 in the Chongqing municipality and at the first Asiana Indoor Skydiving Championship despite being just six years old. He had only eight months of experience in the sport, but after intense training was able to move and position himself like he had been doing it for much longer. In an interview afterwards, he said that the game was very interesting and that it made him feel like he was Superman. Number 1. No Suit Skydivers and indoor skydivers usually wear the same protective clothing, which are typically body suits to protect against the strong winds and a helmet in case something impacts the head. But it doesn't always have to be this way. There are several naked skydiving groups around the world. But the first almost naked indoor skydive on record took place in Prague in 2011. Done for a photo shoot for Maxim magazine, the model still had to wear a helmet, but the bodysuit and most of her other clothes were left outside the tunnel. She struck different poses and flew just as well as she could have done if she was wearing protective gear, which just goes to show that indoor skydiving really can let you feel like you're at one with nature, despite being in a loud, artificially created wind tunnel. Subscribe to Top 5s for more and check out some of our other popular videos.